Hey guys, John W. Quinn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for my weekly video blog. You know, those of you uh, who've been following this blog for the last little bit, and maybe following me on Facebook, know that for the past few weeks, I've been sending out letters to the Fortune 500 CEOs. And in this letter, I've told them a little bit about my book, Someone Like Me, and also asked them for the opportunity to come in and share my story with their employees. I wanted to give you an update on what's going on with that, with, with that effort. I've started to hear back from these companies, and, and it's been wonderful. It's been really exciting. Uh, I got a call a couple of weeks ago directly from the CEO's office of USAA Insurance. USA Insurance, I think it's like number 145 in the Fortune 500. And they had my letter in their hand, and they were so impressed with what they read that they wanted to give me a call personally. Uh, and what they're going to do with my story is to pass it along to the diversity teams in their Texas office. And also, they've got uh, an office here in, in Arizona, up in Phoenix. So they're going to do that for me. And I just thought it was so nice that a company would take the time to call me personally. And I wanted to share that with you. I've also heard from Philip 66, um, State Farm Insurance, Texaco. And just last week, I heard also from the vice president uh, of Comcast, who had my letter and, and wrote a really nice letter in return. He, he said, John, thanks for sending along your amazing story. We don't bring in speakers, but here's what I can do for you. I'm going to forward your letter down to uh, a couple of my managers, one that handles military affairs and the other who handles uh, disability uh, awareness uh, and things of that nature for Comcast. And we'll keep you foremost in, 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 your, in, in our minds as we go forward in 2014. There you go. You know, we're just planting seeds here and, and it's starting to, to sprout and, and to grow fruit. And I just want to talk a little bit about this because when I started this little letter writing campaign, there were some people that I kind of laughed at me and smiled and said, oh, that's nice. Good luck with that. You know, and I had one lady in particular who told me, why are you doing that? There, nobody's going to respond back to you. You know, and I was thinking that kind of reminded me of when I wanted to join the military and I failed that physical. And I went down in the basement, and people were like, well, why are you doing that? You know? Um, well, that turned out pretty good. And, it, and I got a feeling that this is going to turn out wonderfully also. And there's a lesson here. You know, I think the lesson is to not listen to those people who tell you that, you, you know, you can't do anything. Especially, I think it's, it's a, this is an important message for, for young people today. Because... You know, there's so many young people who are told, uh, you're not good enough for this, or, or why are you trying to do this, or, you know, they keep getting beaten down and, and told negative things. Well, my, my experience is just believe in yourself and find a way. You know, find a way to do the things that you want to do in life. I mean, when I had the idea of sending out these letters to, to these big executives, I was literally looking at a box of stationery, a box of envelopes that I had in my, cl in, in my closet, in my office. I'm like, well, what do I want to do with this? Well, I want to do more public speaking. Okay, so who can really uh, help me get my story out? Where can I make the biggest impact for, for really not a lot of money? And, uh, you know, the idea of the Fortune 500 came into my mind and did a little research. Found a, you know, found their addresses and their names and all that, and, and here we are. We're off and running. And the cool thing about it is, you know, these responses are just getting started. There are 500 letters of my story being circulated throughout the country. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun to see what uh, the inbox inbox brings next week, what the mailbox brings next week. And I got a feeling that I'm going to be sharing some really cool updates about this in the not too distant future but you know what do you, what do you what do you want to do you know do you want to do you want to cook do you want to go to school do you want to act do you want to sing 
whatever, whatever it might be. Um, don't let people around you tell you that you can't accomplish the things that you want to do in life. Is it going to be hard? Possibly. Is it going to be tough? Yeah. Are you going to have to overcome maybe some challenges of red tape if you want to start a business or, or you know, whatever it might be. But find a way to do the things that you want to do in life and don't listen to those people who tell you, no, nah, you can't do that. You know, here's what you should do. And, and you know, if you ever want to hear me grind my teeth and, and kind of just, argh, it's tell me what I need to do. You know, hey, John, you need to do this or that. No, I really don't. Thank you for the advice, but here's what I want to do. You know, find out what makes you happy and then go forward and know that I believe in you. All right? Hope you guys are doing well. I really do. Uh, I really have enjoyed uh, watching all the video blogs and, and, I, and I, I watch them all as they come in and I love getting responses back from the, from the video blogs. You know, I've got over 100 subscribers to the video blog now and almost 8,000 views. So, again, this is just an idea that I had sitting here at home in the old condo um, and it's been a lot of fun. And it's just, it's cool to see uh, more videos being done. I think it's wonderful. So I'm really proud of, of all you guys out there. So, hey, check out my book. If you haven't checked out someone like me, please do. We just picked up uh, Amazon review number 120 today. And it's another five-star review. Out of 120 reviews, we've got 113 of them are five-star. I love any review that comes in. But I, I just love the fact that people think enough of my story to make it a five-star uh, review. So thank you for that. And uh, who knows what the future holds, huh? It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And uh, can't, can't wait to share more uh, about what's going on next week. So, again, thanks, guys. Uh, check out my website, johnwquinn.com. I got my TED Talk on there, too. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, please do. And... Uh, Let's do it again next week, all right? Take care, guys. Be well. Bye-bye.